very pleased with how fast your team came out and the way they came out. It was, uh, it was awesome to see, the, the, the first of all, the energy in the building uh, was incredible. We knew that. We, uh, we spoke this morning. Um, I even talked to the coaching staff, and, and we minimized our strategy going into the game just knowing that uh, the, the crowd was going to be as big as it was, um, the, the passion that our guys have for being a Buffalo Sabre and being in our community. Um, and I think that was, uh, I felt beforehand that our players, I could sense that energy in them. I, I mentioned that to you guys this morning. Uh, and, and yes, it was great to see that they, they pushed through because it didn't come easy, early, or quick. It took a bit to hit a rhythm. Um, so the way they stayed with it was uh, very, very nice to see. Must have been ideal though. Kyle on the hot trick of both guys. Really symbolic uh, in my, to me, I, I think it's very symbolic. This is a guy that uh, has embedded himself and his family in this community. Um, you know what what the community is 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 going through has just gone through in the last nine days that we've been off um, is significant. Um, mentioned this morning, uh, this this is life, and it, it, it's you know we were in lots of people in life and death situations, lots of families, um, you know, too many lost loved ones, and, and, and too many you know felt the pain of this this uh, storm that went through. And to have a guy like Oki that, that you know, loves this community, um, score three, I felt, was, uh, was appropriate. Um, you know, it's, we, we do what we love every day, to be able to play hockey, coach, for me, coach hockey. Uh, and to do it in a community that, that you, you, you feel that, that they support hockey and they, they support this team and want to be a part of it. And you can have that return. It's nice. So very happy for Oki and, and the rest of the guys for what they did tonight. What role did uh, Lukanen play in just buying time for you guys to to really get rewarded for, for the approach that you had? Yeah, he, he, you know, we didn't give up a lot, which is sometimes harder uh, because you don't give up much and then all of a sudden there's a breakdown uh, and you haven't had much action. You haven't been able to get into a rhythm. So there was no chance for him to get into a rhythm early on uh, uh, in net and then Again, it's it's those are tough games. So so until we hit stride and actually could could get on the score sheet, um, yeah, he, he was significant. Conserva and Power both had two assists for middle stats, two goals. How is that power play line unit tonight? There, you know, we have a very strong power play statistically, um, and what goes under the radar is the fact that you, you can't do that mostly without quality players on your second unit. Um, and those guys have been consistent, and we needed them tonight. Uh, that, that unit was key. They scored, I think, Middlestead's first goal was right at the, the end of the power play, so they were still on their, you know, exiting the penalty box. Didn't count as a power play goal, but um, uh, if I'm right. And, and so they, and then and then I think Middlestead's second was a power play, so, so significant. Significant to have that skill and talent and those guys playing as a, as a cohesive unit is, is uh, it was certainly key tonight. Yeah, it, it is. We're speaking of Middlestead and, and, and being rewarded. Um, he, this is a guy that cares. I mean, he cares and he works every day. So, so, you know, I support him the way I do because you just see see the commitment he has to resolving this, and you know the talent he has. And these are young guys, and and to stay with it. Um, you know, I'm very happy for him uh, to be rewarded. And yes, there was there was timing and sense and feel, and obviously finish um, that that led to those. And like I said, we, we needed that tonight. Just the depth of scoring. I mean, you have goals from the top line or point time from the top line is Jeff's goal to get it from the third fourth line. How would you just... It's it's significant. Um, Thompson, Tuck, and Skinner. They, I, I thought their work ethic and their commitment, their their focus was incredible. Um, you know, nine nine days between games, I, I thought they weren't as sharp, uh, maybe. And, and Skinner scored a beautiful goal. I think it was from Cousins. He was actually on the other line, uh, coming out of a, a penalty kill situation, I believe. But but yeah, they 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 worked. They did the right things. They played the right way. They didn't cheat, um, and they just weren't as sharp 
so I, I credit to Tomer and, and Tuck and Skinny to, to just still play a hard game, even though they didn't get rewarded on the score sheet. And then for the other guys to step up and score was significant. So it was great to see. They, they, they work hard. Bucks going in the net for Casey. Is this something that maybe can springboard him now and maybe get him going? We definitely hope so. Uh, and, and obviously, you know, Paul, the guy, how guys feel when you score. I mean, it's, it's, um, th- there's, you know, there's, there's not many feelings that are that nice. And, and uh, like I said, for Casey, he he puts the hours in. He he takes it home with him. Uh, he cares and and he wants to. You know he wants to be better every day, and, and we know we have a talented guy that wants to be better every day. This is a this can be a real good shot of adrenaline for him. Thank you, everyone.